What's up everybody and welcome back to a brand new episode of On The Grind Where we do things raw Where we bring it to you raw Where we just spit out the facts and do nothing else Welcome back everybody to a brand new episode with your host Nigel Ifarmanes <laughs> Wow that was a that was a brand new intro, I guess. I don't know what to to say about it, but I do an intro or a brand new intro every single episode. So, but on today's episode, episode number eighteen, start networking and stop whining. I see a lot of you guys whining on the internet, whining on Facebook, whining on social media about not having enough people, not having enough followers, not having enough people will like you or comment or just not enough people around you like. People that you can actually talk with about something or subject or discuss something with or do business with or anything like that. And this isn't because your content not good enough, isn't good enough or that you don't have enough money or that you're an amazing person. No, it, 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 it all has to do with like you networking with people, like talking to somebody. I mean, I know not all people are extroverts or introverts. I don't know if I said it right. I don't know if that's the word, word in English, but I hope so. Not everybody's an extrovert. Like, for example, when I speak, I can just go into public a million people in front of me and I can just speak my mind out. Like, I can just talk days in and days out right there on the spot. I don't need a PowerPoint. I don't need anything like I just do it on the spot. I do it raw. I I do it real. I keep it real with everybody. I keep it transparent. But then everybody can do it. Some people need a clown face. Some people need a certain mood in order to talk to somebody. And I get it. It's you know i get it sometimes it's scared to step to somebody but maybe i can give you guys a few tips that maybe will help to actually go and network with other people because guys really man like your network is your net worth and i really mean that i know it's so cliche of me to say that but i actually really mean it you you don't need millions of bucks in order to become successful all right let's just put that as a fact the only thing you need in life are the networks and the connections. Like, for example, this is just an example, all right? So don't um, take this as if. But, for example, let's say my little brother is a pilot, for example, all right? He's a pilot and I'm a businessman. I'm, I'm maybe a trader or something like that. I trade for him, for example, and he gives me a free flight. And uh, let's say um, Picho or somebody just says like oh wait i i do gardening uh, I, I do trading for pizza and pizza mon uh mows my laws and things like that so think about it all right let's just go back to the previous ages like the previous years how life was life was about trading life was about oh i give you something for something else and no it doesn't have to be like this always because i mean networks aren't used like that or misused or or how you want to call it but networking is just a certain way of putting your name out there and if you're giving a good service or a good product to that person that person will as heck just tell everybody about you like legit word of mouth is so powerful i mean it's it's even more powerful than actually marketing itself or putting ads on instagram if you ask me and imagine if you have 10 people or 20 people who you network with the people love you the people are like oh whoa yeah nigga manis he does this and this and this oh yeah nigga manis and people will just come to you just because they want a meeting they want to meet up they want to know who you are they've heard from certain people that are actually big people in like the community like oh nigaman is this nigaman is that and that's how you build your network all right it's not that simple i get it it looks hard but i'll give you a few tips all right the number one tip of course is that every single freaking human is human all right everybody's a human like everybody is a human being even if you would say i want to meet with trump tomorrow i wouldn't even mind meeting with trump he's a human being And that's how I look at life. All right. Now, the second tip I have for you guys is don't look at somebody like, oh, they're black or they're white or they're Asian or they're, you know, look at a person 
this goes back to number one they're just human i look at people like humans i don't look at race i don't look at color i don't look at age i don't look at anything if a 14 year old kid wants to meet with me because he wants to talk about something something's on his mind i'll do it i'll make time free if an 80 year old man wants to meet me i'll do it i'll make time free and this is what i i'm trying to you know bring to you guys because a lot of you guys or so and and this isn't only for like the young people in Suriname but also the old people so please listen all right i know i'm just 20 years old and i might seem young to you guys i'm talking to the old people right now but trust me i think and this is not because i'm arrogant but i think my mindset is way further than yours the reason why i'm saying is this is because you guys are closing doors for the young people and i'm speaking um from the from the point of view of the young people right now you guys are closing doors for the young people and you guys are focusing on people who are 30 40 50 and when when people make it at that age then they get interviewed then they get called up on stage and i mean start with people from freaking 18 man so many talented young people and you guys are just wasting it and it's so sad because you guys want people like oh yeah you need to get a job first or you you first need to have a diploma in order to become skilled or a professional at what you do and this and that i mean that's just bullcrap man um so give the young people a chance and try to meet up with them try to network with with them try to see what they're into some people are amazing at like you know i'm I'm just gonna say something at web developing or some people are amazing at video editing or anything else starting a business you know so many young people have bright ma- bright minds bright ideas especially in the social marketing agencies and just give them a chance because most of you guys like i'm talking to the big guys right now you guys are blind blind as heck you you guys are so focused oh yeah this is working for me amazing i'm giving you exactly one to two years and then we'll talk again L- literally i'm just giving you guys one to two years and we'll talk again we'll see how you guys are running after the youngsters to get them in and those guys won't even want to work for you anymore because they'll they will all have like their own business this is just my point of view all right um so please listen carefully and try to network with everybody that you want to network with if it's a no guys then it's a no if you say to for example if you say to nigga nigga let's meet up tomorrow no sorry man i can't what about friday for example or if they say no sorry i don't like meetups okay fine move on to the next one you know a no is just a simple step towards a yes a no is just a simple step towards a yes it's that simple guys so please don't let anyone discourage you that you can't do anything in life or that you can't actually network or that you can't go to somebody and just a few tips for you guys just try to look up like kkf and i'm talking to surinamese people right now Undernemers, KKF, places that business people meet up, or if you're interested in drum lessons, go to a drums drumming session. If you're interested in sing- singing, look for you know singing events. Go to Klevia Padak. Those those places like where you know there's audience, where you know people meet up. Just go, even if it's a Sunday, like a family day. You never know. You don't have to discuss business all the time. You can just discuss like how's your life? How how are you doing? I've seen you've done this, this, this on, on Facebook. Great stuff. What do you do? You know, that's how you start a conversation. That's how you actually talk to somebody to get them going. And it gets you going. And you guys meet up. You switch phone numbers. You switch email addresses. And who knows? You guys, like, even start something up. Like, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm just trying to meet up with a lot of people. And eventually start up something big. All right, guys. That's my 10 minutes again for this episode. I heard... I whoa sorry i hope you guys enjoyed it and yeah like always just check me out on instagram follow me everywhere it's not about the likes it's not about a comment so don't worry if you don't want to like it it's really fine
As always, social lobby, eight more lobby, and I'll talk to you guys in the next podcast. Doing it for you guys. Lots of love.